Hi Plant Fam! This is Ayin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about neem oil. So I'm going to be sharing with you the benefits of neem oil on plants and how it works as a pesticide. And also I'm going to be sharing with you how I do my neem oil treatment. So yung mismong ginagamit ko dito sa bahay for my plants. So yeah, if you guys want to know more about neem oil and neem oil treatment, then just keep watching. Okay, so by the way guys, medyo maingay kasi umuulan ngayon but I really just want to film this video now. So pagpasensyahan niyo na. Um, anyway, so let's get started. So saan nga ba nanggaling ang neem oil? So ang neem oil, it comes from an evergreen tree na tinatawag na Azadiracta indica which is endemic in South Asia, particularly in India. But it's also endemic actually here in the Philippines, I think. Kasi medyo recently lang namin na-discover na we also have a neem tree dito sa bahay, sa harap na aming bahay. But anyway, so yeah, it grows naturally sa South Asia or Asia. So yung pinaka-oil, kaya siya tinatawag na neem oil, it's pressed from the fruit, the seeds, and the bark of the evergreen tree nga na tinatawag nga na Azadiracta indica. Based on its origin from India, um, the oil, the main oil ng tree in Sanskrit is called Sarva Roga Nirvani or also called as Cure of All Ailments. In fact, ang neem oil, hindi lang siya ginagamit for pesticide as an organic pesticide for plants. But some people also use this for soap, for skincare products, ganyan. So marami siya talagang usage. But tayo bilang mga plantita at plantito, for sure, mas kilala natin ang neem oil bilang component or compound na nilalagay natin sa ating spray or sa ating pesticide for our plants. So, neem is known as one of the, and is highly recommended as one of the best methods for pest prevention sa plants because of a compound in it na tinatawag na azadiractin. So, si azadiractin, ito yung main compound na um, responsible, kumbaga, or it makes neem oil a great pesticide because it helps um, fight or combat yung mga mites, mga larvae, ganyan. Kumbaga, ang, ang ginagawa nitong compound na to is it prevents the egg from developing into an actual, you know, insect or pest. According to my research, once na ang isang pest, for example, meron infested na talaga yung plant, ng, for example, scales or aphids, ang mangyayari is kapag nakain nila yung leaf nung plant na meron ng neem oil, what happens is nagkakaroon sila ng kumbaga sa tao ay hormonal imbalance. So, hindi sila nakakapag-produce ng new eggs. So, the compound affects their hormones which means na nakaapektuhan and na kumbaga na is nasustol or nasastop yung pagbibreed nila at pagdami pa nila doon sa plant. So that's how neem oil works as a pesticide. Okay, so some of the pests na pwedeng makontrol ng neem oil are white fly, aphids, Japanese beetles, moth larvae, scales, and spider mites. Um, it is also used as a fungicide that can work against rust, black spot, mildew, leaf spot, scab, anthracnose, blight, and botrytis. So, ayun yung mga um, normally, ito yung mga things, ito yung mga pests na makikita natin sa ating mga plants. And yes, kaya itong itreat ng neem oil treatment. According to research, neem oil can actually treat more than 100, around 170 na type of pests or um, insects. So, talagang powerful yung kanyang compound, kumbaga. But, if you're wondering kung lahat ba ng insect ay kayang, you know, tanggalin or kayang patayan ng neem or kung kaya bang maapektuhan ng neem oil. Actually, according to research, hindi. Um, yung mga insects like, for example, worms, um, beetles, ganyan, hindi sila maapektuhan ng neem oil treatment. So as mentioned kanina, how neem oil works is that it affects yung hormones ng mga pests and it also kind of destroy or damage yung mga eggs, mga existing eggs na doon sa plant. 
So, that's how it works. Ngayon, yung iba naman daw insect, hindi sila um, talaga naapektuhan na yung tipong madadamage yung hormones or anything like that. But, aalis sila dun sa plant once maamoy nila na may neem oil because of the scent. Kasi matapang yung kanyang amoy for insects. So, yun. Kung meron kang problema sa plant mo, let's say, feeling mo meron siyang fungi din um, aside from like pests like aphids or mealybugs or scales na often makikita natin talaga or once in a while mararanasan natin with plants especially indoors. So yun, kung meron kang fungi problem with your plants, then you can also neem oil to treat your plant. Okay, so now we will move on to kung paano ba talaga mag-apply ng neem oil treatment or kung paano ba yung mixture, yung pinaka, yung pinaka neem oil mixture. So, you will need four things, okay? Um, a spray bottle or a bottle. Depende sa'yo, pero for sure you're gonna use a spray bottle. So, this one's just the standard size na spray bottle. And then, water. You will need, of course, your neem oil. And you will need a soap, a um, dishwashing soap, a liquid hand soap. Or in my case, I use baby shampoo. So, ayan. So, for ang standard uh, measurement ng neem oil is for every gallon of water, you can use 2 tablespoons of neem oil. Now, I used to make like big batches of neem, but recently I've been using just this one. Kung baga, dinidiretso ko na dito yung pinaka-mixture ko. So, pupunoyin ko to with water, and then I will um, use at least mga 3 to 4 drops lang of neem. This is 100% neem oil. You can find sa market, merong mga iba't ibang klase kang neem oil na makikita. Yung iba, meron na silang, may nakamix na sa kanila. So, I'd suggest na you go get yung talagang 100% oil lang siya. So, I'll just, you know, drop ng mga 3 to 4 times nito. And then, because oil and water, hindi pa yan mag-mix, alam natin yan. So, you will need soap to emulsify it para mag- combine lahat ng nilagay natin. Ito yung ginagamit ko, baby shampoo. Because, wala lang. Wala akong ibang liquid soap. Mas gusto ko kasi yung amoy nito. So, ayan. And, gumagamit akong baby shampoo because I know na it's not harsh. Kung baga yung component niya, it's for like, alam naman natin, for baby. So, delicate siya, ba? So, what you will do to so, once na nalagay mo na lahat dito ng mga kailangan... Ay, by the way, for the baby shampoo, I use mga siguro mga half a teaspoon to one teaspoon lang. Depende kung gano'ng kadami yung tubig. Basta ang importante lang kasi is mix silang lahat doon sa spray bottle mo. So, shake mo lang siya ng mabuting-mabuti, making sure na everything is mixed and combined. Tapos, I already pala vlogged about how I apply my neem oil treatment sa aking plant before. Um, so, I'm gonna link that in this video, but just to show you how I do it. So, you get your plant. And then, you just, you know, spray it. As in, spray mo lang siya sa ibabaw ng leaves, sa ilalim ng leaves. Tapos, kung yung iyong plant ay feeling mo, meron siyang mga pest, you can also spray the soil and yung mga stem. As in, soaked dapat yung buong plant. And then, I'd suggest that you do that after watering your plants or plant just to be sure na hindi masasayang at mababasa lang ulit yung dahon and ma-absorb talaga ng dahon, ng stem, ng soil, yung iyong neem oil treatment. Also, one thing to note also is that do this at night or in the afternoon para hindi maaarawan yung iyong plant. For example, nakalagay siya sa isang spot na nakakakuha siya ng direct sun or kahit bright indirect light lang. Baka kasi may possibility, since this is oil, there's a possibility na masunog yung plant. Um, so, it's recommended to do this at night or late in the afternoon, yung talagang wala ng araw, para sure ka na hindi masusunog yung dahon mo. The next day, kung maarawan man yung plant, wala na yung problema. Cause, you know, for sure, medyo na-absorb na siya nung yung plan. Okay, so how often do I apply my neem oil treatment? Um, if if the plant is infested with pests, like for example, before yung aking Chinese evergreen, marami siyang scales talaga. So what I did was I, consi I consistently applied neem oil doon sa aking plant ng twice a week 
for like two to three months and ayon talagang nawala nawala yung mga scales so if infested na yung yung plant with any kind of pest then you can use the neem oil treatment at least two times per week but if you're gonna use this lang for pest prevention which you can do um, since ang neem oil pala I forgot to mention is also a leaf shiner so kapag ginamit nyo to sa plant niyo mas magkakaroon ng shiny leaves yung iyong plant. Kasi alam ko maraming mga plantitas and plantitos out there ang obsessed na magkaroon ng, ng super shiny leaves yung kanilang plants or yung foliage ng kanilang plants. So, you can also use this for that. And if you're gonna use this as a pest prevention lang, I'd suggest na you use this lang mga two times per month or in my case, I use, I use this once a month lang for all my plants. Pero meron mga plants na hindi ko na sinispray nito kasi shiny na yung leaves nila as is and wala naman ako nakikita ang problema sa kanila. But then again, hindi ito masamang gamitin as pest prevention. Kahit wala pa kayo nakikita ang pest or insect doon sa inyong plant, pwede nyo na siyang sprayan. But remember guys, ang rule of thumb when applying any fungicide, pesticide sa ating mga plants, kahit pa organic yan, kagaya nitong neem oil treatment, this is an organic um, you know pesticide and fungicide, Kahit pa organic ang inyong gagamitin, the rule of thumb is to apply it on one leaf first. Okay? Para alam mo kung kaya ba ng plant yung compounds doon sa fungicide or pesticide na yon para hindi siya mabigla. Kasi I've heard parang stories sa iba't ibang tao na parang bigla na lang sila nag-spray ng let's say, hindi, not necessarily neem eh. I think nag-spray sila nung uh, mga fertilizer or parang vetchin yata. Naging magamit din sila mga MSG. Ako hindi pa yun na-try. But anyway, ang ginagawa nila is sinasprayan nila agad yung buong plant. And ang nangyayari the next day, pagkita nila dun sa plant, deads na lahat ng leaves. So, again, rule of thumb is to apply on one leaf first or one stem before ninyo i-apply sa buong halaman. Just to be sure na kaya talaga nung halaman yung components or compounds doon sa mixture ninyo. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So that's everything that I want to share with you about neem, about neem oil treatment, about neem oil. Um, I haven't tried creating my or um, extracting my own neem oil from our tree, but maybe in the future, kapag nakita ko siya ng seed, I will. And I'll let you guys know if ever I will do that. But for now, that's it for this video. Um, yeah, sana nagustuhan niyo itong video na to. And sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. If you're wondering about neem oil treatment and how it's done. And yeah, hope you guys find this video helpful and interesting. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And by the way, before I go, I wanna do a shout out. Shout out lang sa mga, alam mo yun, ating masugid na viewers. Viewers talaga. Mga subs natin na sobrang supportive, sobrang sipag mag-iwan ng comment, mag-like, and all those stuff. So, okay. So, shout out kay Madeline Ramos, um, kay Lawrence Balatbat, um, and kay Sis from Leafaholic. Um, lagi yan. Lagi silang nagko-comment on my video. So, thank you so much guys for always commenting, for always watching my videos, and for your support. It really means a lot to me. So, yeah. I guess that's it for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!